Nails, Fails and Some Prevails by Polish Blissfully. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have a nail art tutorial to share with you and this time it's a graffiti design that I did using my untried products. Now as you're aware I have kind of went on a journey wherein that I am not buying any products. I am going to use up the products that I have or solely focus on using 90% of my collection and maybe if something tickles my fancy popping it sneakily in my basket <laughs> but if you want to see how I completed this look then just keep on watching also if you have any questions about any products don't worry this video is a fairly long one and that I'm going to be discussing the products where you can find them my thoughts on them and all of the things in between so if you stay to the end of this video you're an absolute trooper and I really hope you enjoy so for the products I used for this tutorial, I'm going to share with you some from my untried pile, but also some from my favourite pile. To start with the favourites, I tend to stick to the same thing for base and top coat and that kind of thing. And when I'm doing stamping, I like this OPI natural base coat and the OPI top coat for decal making. It's the best top coat I found for decals. It gives you a nice glossy finish without actually being too bulky for the decals and the top coat dries really quick. For my base colour, I used the coveted OPI Alpine Snow. And then for the stamping, I used Mundo de Unis Black and White. Again, you'll probably see these all the time on my channel because these are literally my favourite stamping polishes. I absolutely adore this polish brand. So pigmented and amazing. So for the untried pile, I have Virago Varnish blue vinyl and this is part of the 77 collection that I picked up from Nail Artisan. Again I've only swatched this polish so I thought it was a great opportunity to break it out. We also used the Aquaproof collection by Model Zone and I went ahead and used all of these. I have a review and swatches of these that I will leave linked in the description box below and um, these are the only polishes I used for colouring in the decals. For the stamping I used two new stamping plates, the first one for the brick design I used Upper Cheek Texturelicious 2 plate. I picked this one up from Nail Artisan, I love this brand and I cannot believe that this actually still had the blue sticker on it. Next for the graffiti design I used the Bundle Monster and Madam Luck BMXL207 plate, again had the wrapper on it and I just don't know why. So these are, these are all the products that I used and finally let's get into the tutorial. So to begin this look, I've already gone ahead and applied a white base to my little nails here. And as you're aware, I'm not using my natural nails at the moment. So onto the pointer finger, the ring finger and the pinky, we're going to apply one coat of Virago Varnish Blue Moon and allow that to dry before moving on to the next step. As I mentioned for the stamping, the first image we're going to be using is this brick design from the Upper Chic Texturelicious 2 plate, Mundo de Unis White and the Jumbo Stamper by Moyu London. I'm just going to line that up and press that firmly onto the nail. Again, ideally I would use my clear stamper but I, it was already in action at that point which you will see later. So onto that we're going to apply a fast dry top coat and then that's going to give us a nice smooth base for our decals. So for the graffiti and the decals in themselves in general, we're going to be using this Bundle Monster BMXL207 plate, which is their collaboration plate with Madam Luck. Basically, as you can see, I'm using Mundo de Onis Black and a shitload of stampers, which is basically everything I own, um, because I thought this is going to be so many decals, I'm going to do them all at once, because I thought I was so smart for that. <laughs> 
So as you can see, I am just going to turn with these little graffiti signs. Um, I didn't actually need them all, but I find it better to more than less is best. Hey, hey. And so what we're going to do is basically all the various designs that I thought were cool, I'm just going to use the stamper, the scraper, and pick them up and pop them over to the side for colouring in. And now that we've got all our designs, as you can see, I have an absolute crap ton of stampers that I have to colour in. And I'm not going to lie, guys, this took me probably an hour. So I had to have a sandwich break, um, a break so I could contact humans and say that I was still alive and everything because I felt like my ass was killing me sitting at that desk for so long. So basically what I decided to do was really just thought I was Michelangelo and thought I was an artist and I really just decided to do little bits of every colour into the graffiti because I thought graffiti isn't the same one colour all the time so I was going to make mine a little bit different as well so I used all of the colours and I, what I basically did was put one colour out and did all the stampers with the same colour before moving on to the next colour and that way I wasn't wasting any polish I basically did that with every colour from the Aqua Proof collection until all of the stampers were filled in And then once I finally got finished filling in all those little decals, I added the OPI top coat to them all, popped them to the side and allowed them to dry. And then once that was all dry, I took them off the stampers and then I positioned them with the nail so I got the part of the image that I wanted. And that's just the way I like to kind of cheat with stamping. So I don't use the full stamp. I may use it from too far right or to the left or whatever, just so I could get the desired part of the design that I want. And once I had figured out what part of the design that I, I didn't want I just trimmed that around the nail and made sure everything was tucked in nice and well so you didn't have to do any filing later So for the brick designs, these require a little bit more trimming in that you want to take off any of the excess writing or the black brick design that was part of this, the stamp and that way it won't interrupt with your navy base or the white bricks that you've got on it. So this will take you probably a little bit longer and it was quite tedious after a while and all in it did take me quite a long time but I just find that it's if you take that steps first, then you don't have to worry about using acetone or anything like that to possibly remove off any excess. And then you could take off the base colour and ruin your design. So yeah, the steps are a little bit tedious, but taking them, it will help you in the, like the long run. So as you can see now for the nail, I'm just using some of the little images of the monsters and some of the 70s sort of retro kind of 
design here that um, I only wanted a little bit of it so I cut it in half and used just the top of it for the top of the nail and with this kiss design once I trimmed it I decided that I didn't like the bit of the nail on the white nail so I just decided to overlap the kiss design on that there and it really looked like it was part of the stamp. So once I was finished positioning all the little decals, I went ahead and added a nice liberal amount of the Setch 5 fast dry top coat. And you could definitely go the matte route with this. I really wasn't sure if I wanted to go matte or shiny, but the other half, he chose shiny, so shiny it was. But I definitely think matte would be quite cool as well. So I know that this was a really long video, but believe it or not, guys, this manicure took me about five hours to complete. So showing you everything that I wanted to show you was not going to be just your average five minute video. But I really hope you give something like this a try. And if you do and you want to fit it into your busy schedule, definitely split it up and do it in parts. It doesn't all have to be done in one night. But I really hope you enjoyed this and that you picked up some tips and tricks. And if you want to know any questions about anything else or you just want to ask me about a technique or something like that then do so in the comments below as you know I will get back to you as soon as I can so thank you so much for watching guys and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did I would really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos I upload a couple of times a week and it's all nail related haul related or beauty related then just go ahead and hit that subscribe button see you next time bye